The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, "The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses's seat. So do and observe what they tell you." <clears throat> but not the works they do for they preach but do not practice they tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on people's shoulders but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger they do all their deeds to be seen by others for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long and they love the places of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the market places and being called rabbi by others but you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are all brothers and no man and call no man your father on earth for you have one father who is in heaven neither the be called instructors for you have one instructor the christ the greatest among you shall be your servant whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ <clears throat> a girl broke away from an engagement with a boy and after a few days she wrote to him apologizing for this break away and she said since the time i broke away from you i am totally unhappy i feel that i am incomplete without you i love you so much so kindly take me back we will continue with our relationship because no one else can take your place in my heart there is no one else so forgive me yours forever maria she wrote and then she wrote a postscript and yeah congratulations on winning a huge lottery i am very proud of you well that's how we often are in our relationship with one another we are very manipulative and opportunistic there is not that genuineness in our relationship be it be it with one another or god if we want to achieve something our relationship with god or even others become very nice and diplomatic and we end up becoming manipulative and we end up becoming hypocritical and calculative in our relations and further we become haughty and proud in the gospel today jesus tells us not to be hypocritical and tactful adopt a way of humility and truth 
which will bring in true relationship. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. That is the fact that Jesus reveals in today's gospel. And it is for this Jesus is accusing the Pharisees and the scribes. They were self-centered and self-glorifying people. They did everything to bring attention to themselves. And they projected it as if it is all their doing. God has nothing to do with it. And Jesus in today's gospel points out the three sins of the scribes and the Pharisees. First is that they preach without practicing. In other words, there is no genuineness in what they say and what they do. Secondly, they overburden the ordinary people with all kinds of law. The Jewish book of law that is called Torah had 613 laws. But these leaders interpreted them and multiplied and multiplied into thousands of laws. And it became really burdensome for the people. Religion became not a means to achieve God, but burden themselves. The third sin was that they do things, especially pious acts, in order to show to others, so that they get praise from others. By displaying the phylacteries, by taking the places of honor, by being greeted in the marketplaces. That's how they found satisfaction that they are being noticed and they are being respected. And Jesus further says, <clears throat> call no one rabbi, call no one father. Your heavenly father is the only father. Then what is the alternative word? Jesus doesn't say what does that mean? In other words, calling someone the teacher, rabbi, is not wrong. Calling your uh, earthly father is not wrong. What is important is that these leaders of the church must not demand that they be respected and called and given all kinds of honor. So that makes the difference. It is not Calling that makes the difference, but demanding that I be called in such a manner, that I be respected, that I be given the first place in the uh, fee on in, uh, during the feast or days or celebrations. In other words, these are words that we use in our normal life. We call Mahatma Gandhi the father of the nation. Is it wrong? He has given, helped us to attain independence and to seek truth. A priest who is addressed as a father, he is the one who gives birth to our spiritual life by giving us the sacrament of baptism and other sacraments. So that is, so it's nothing wrong in that. What is wrong is the leader's demand that I be respected in a manner that beyond that what I am. As if I come first or, uh, and God comes second. Every Eucharist is a reminder of that fact Jesus taught. He humbled himself even though he was God. And he died on the cross so that we may have life, life in abundance. Every Eucharist gives us life. Let us pray for that.